this Saturday, currently in line, getting an old and spread like I'm at 1 p.m. right now. Still making money with the old equipment, day in, day out. Team Pneumatic. Team Pneumatic. I'm going to pull it right up there on the scale and get it loaded right now. Oh, yeah. Got to get that money. Got to get that money. That money. That mean green. longer runs we picked up a new customer um, some customer called bison I believe is the name so we're on a blue fields right now this is my second load for this particular customer I pay the same thing as pro petrol so it works out in our favor we don't know uh, lose any money or anything like that and it's a longer run uh, we're going all the way out well, right now I'm at La Mesa right now La Mesa Texas we're going all the way out to Abilene Texas so uh, it pays pretty good and uh, so far it's back to back you know but like I said it's pre-fuel so pre-fuels may come to the end after this load and then I don't know when they plan to start back up but so far so good everything is running smooth Worked out all the kinks with the truck, worked out all the kinks with the trailer. Except we are missing the clamp back in the trailer. I had a hose that separated uh, simply because the clamp, there was no clamp on now. And uh, I guess I didn't notice it. So I got a spare clamp underneath the bunk. I just gotta put the clamp on, tighten it up, it's all good. No damage to the hose, anything like that. It's just a uh, clamp was never there to begin with. But um, yeah, like I said, it's Saturday. Definitely getting to the money. Now, now that we no longer have trailer notes, there's no more trailer notes, there's no more 1500 of money, nothing like that. That means all the money is just coming in. No, it's not slowing down. Migos have not slowed anything down whatsoever. If you want to know if it's slowing down on my end, YouTube stores, you got, is Andrew, is this? I wonder if the loads are slowing down. That's what we got YouTube stores for. Right there, I answer you. All you got to do click that little face icon. Get out of right there. There's your answer right there. So, uh, a lot of y'all asking Andrew, what company do you work at? I don't want to do no research. I just want to come to your company. I think it's a bad business plan. I think you need to go back to the drawing board and uh, rethink things over. Just rethink things over because. I don't work in no special carrier. I don't know why y'all ask me this every single year, month after month after month. I don't work in anywhere special whatsoever. Matter of fact, the same rates we got is the same rates that Mark got and other companies all around here. So there's nothing special about it. The same money I'm making here is the same money some other owner operator is making at any other company around here. So it's nothing special about these companies. They're just companies. 80 20 split. Some of them 70, 30. Some of them, you know, 85, 15. I don't know, but you know, nothing special. You're wasting time. That's what you're doing. You're wasting time. You could have been out here like Cali. Could have been out Cali. Could have, Cali wanted to know, well, if the Mac was so good, then why you don't got, because I'm already leasing a trailer. I can't double lease. I can't have two leases going at once. That's why. Now, is you going to come down here and you going to put down on this damn Mac? Or is you just going to, you know, I'm trying to help you out. You're not gonna put down on it. Oh uh, yeah, you know. Just saying, you know. It's hot out here. That's all I'm saying, boy. It's hot out here. It was cold this morning, but it's hot out here. Got my little Stuart Griffin going on. Wait a minute, hold on. There he is. There he is. Wait a minute, hold on. Y'all read the hold on, y'all read the fine print. Hold on, man. Yeah, yeah. Tell him, Stuart. Tell them, you know what, victory, damn it, yeah, Elisa, 
and winning. <laughs> and look at me like, what the hell is he in there doing? <laughs> Leasing and winning. That's what we do. Leasing and winning on this beautiful Saturday morning. Oh, but we done found the Bucky King. Did I tell you that? Yeah, we done found the damn Bucky King on our little path to greatness out there towards Abilene, Texas. Boy, they got a Burger King. Boy, I done stopped there and filled the whole bag full of bullshit. I ain't lying, boy. I, it's empty now, but shit. Look at this receipt. Y'all see that receipt? Damn! <laughs> My head, Burger King, and I don't know where. I'm so mad. I, I couldn't help but to pull on in there. I mean, truck trailer wouldn't even fit, but we got up in there. I mean, we pulled all the way up in there, too. I walked up and I said, yeah, man. I ain't, what y'all sell up in here, man? Because I don't even know, man. Y'all with Whoppers? Fill the bag up, goddamn. Fill the bag up, fucker. We making money, boy. Just fill it up, damn it, all the way to the top. We ain't going to eat the whole thing. Just fill all this shit up for no reason. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Whatever I don't eat. I got my pet friends and they come up to the truck there, eat there, finish it off. So don't worry, okay? So just fill that bag on up. You know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about the price. <laughs> One thing I noticed is when you own equipment, trucking is just so fun. Have you ever noticed that? Oh man, every time you see Andrew, I'm smiling and having fun. Trucking is fun when you own equipment. It's only not fun when somebody got their foot on your neck for twelve hundred dollars a week. Is all I'm saying. That's when trucking is not fun. But when you out here owning and winning, oh man, shit! Look forward to every day. Every day we get some money, boy. Every single day, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, boy. God damn, boy. Ooh, it's like every day is a challenge. We don't know how much money we're gonna to make today compared to yesterday. We just know we're gonna make a lot of money. That's all we know. We don't know, sometimes it's a challenge. Sometimes we try to push the flat top beyond its limits. I think I was at 75 miles per hour and like 80 mile per hour. I was just trying to see if the flat top was still the flat top. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's pushing 850,000 miles. Somebody asked me how many miles is on the rebuild. That's a good question. I wrote it down somewhere, man. Hold on. Oh, no, that ain't the correct stick. Wait a minute, we do for a damn oil change. 845,000. Oh, that's when we got the oil change. Okay, so we got 14,000 miles on this oil change. A thousand more miles, we have 15. It's time for oil change. Damn. Time for that fresh, grade A, Migos only oil. With the filters, gotta do all the filters, every filter, everything must go. Got to do the oil change. That's right. Yeah, I keep it right there on the windshield. That's how. I, look, see, I know what's going on, but look, there it is right there. See, look. Bam. Look at that. Bam. Yeah, so see. Bam. See how all that right there working? Yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, nah, I take that back. I don't got no damn, uh, what did I say, 15, 13,000 miles? Nah, I got about eight on here. 8,000 miles, my bad. So we got a little bit more to go. We got a little bit more money to make on that oil change. We only got 8,000 miles. So. And we're getting loaded. They're putting the money in the trailer, the old raggedy trailer. Day in, day out, it shows up they load it, and we don't have any issues. Day in, day out. The old raggedy trailer. Yes. Birdman hand rub every time, because you just never know. You never know. You never know, boy. It's like just owning and winning. Only deduction is just insurance and fuel. And we try, I think that's too high right there. I'm trying to lower my cost of operation. I need to take off the damn insurance payment. This is too high, this is too high. It's low, but it's too high once you get the, oh yeah, it's too high right here. Yeah, it's too high, it's too much. It's too much. Just saying. Fuel bill all the way up here with no fuel car. I can lower that, I can probably put about 500. Three to five hundred back in my pocket a week if I use my damn fuel cards. 
TSD or mud flap that would be the one to work. But right now I just used a fuel card since uh, holidays is coming up. So don't know if I'm going to work in December or not. But I don't know because the money is just steady, rolling in. And anytime the money is rolling in, it's kind of hard to stop. It's just kind of hard to stop. So I don't know. I got to think about it. I just got to think about it. It's a great place to be. No bills, money rolling in. Don't even know what to do with it. It's just rolling the fuck. You don't even, I don't have it even. I got to like direct the man. Like, do I put, okay, do I put it over here on that S coin, the D coin? Tesla still, that's just steady going up. Tell you, every time we look at it, that's just steady going up over there. What do we do with it? I'm just, because every, every week we got to figure it out. Like, we don't care. We can't just keep it at the bank. The bank, nah, see, they not, they, see, no, no, okay, that ain't gonna work. It's not, we got to make it work for us. And every week we got this, it's like a challenge. We got to figure out what to do with all, with all this guacamole sauce. Because it's just raining in the end. And we ain't giving it away to pimping, okay? Speaking of pimping. Favorite leash driver in the whole wide world has conceded. He's waving the white flag. He gave back the reefer trailer. He's dead right. He's dead right. I'm like, damn. Oh my god. He gave back the reefer trailer. He gave back the reefer trailer. Can you tell us what is the reason? What is the reason for giving back? So I'm trying to figure out because so, I was trying to guess. I was like, oh man. What come on now? What what happened with the reefer trailer? Come on now, let me know. Oh, come on now. You just came about the blue time about it's gone. What happened to the reefer trailer? It says Someone broke into the trailer. They stole the food out the trailer. You're supposed to guard the trailer with your life, son. And you in there sleep there out there stealing ice cream and goddamn snacks and all kinds of shit going out the back door. You let them do it, Craig. You let them do it. I'm talking about you supposed to be guarding the damn trailer with your life. Now they out there, Paco. You probably had that trailer parked on Lamar and meant Paco to take everything out the back of this motherfucker. And you let them do it. Yeah, you, yeah, we blaming you. You let them do it, Craig. All that goddamn money going out the trailer like that. Now you talking about you got to sell the trailer because the door costs twenty six hundred dollars. If twenty, that's all it costs. Twenty six hundred dollars. That's all. I put that on the table the other day. Come on now, what, what, it's just a door. Come on, man, pay the man the twenty six hundred, man. What, what they ain't dropping the bucket, man? Just now, phone call. Wells Fargo, now come on, now. Come on, man. Yo. So what's the outcome? We we don't want to pay twenty six hundred now. So what what are we gonna do? How are we gonna rectify the issue? Well, Andrew, what we're going to do? We're going to go back to the drive-in world because we're tired of waiting in the dots. We're going to go back to drive-in. We're going to pay Pippin. $300 a week instead of just a one-time payment of $2,600. We're going to go to $300 a week on the never, never plan. And we're going to do this all of next year. Matter of fact, Andrew, we're not going to do this all this year. Next year, we're going to go 2022. Yeah, 2022 because the trailer we had, Andrew, see, if I had the spaceship trailer, the door, when they went to break it, it wouldn't have broke. See, that's when you got that old raggedy reaper trailer. See, I tried to warn you about that old raggedy overpriced reaper trailer. See, if you just went with the spaceship to begin with, that door, they wouldn't see, it wouldn't even came out. You need to get Rob Lord, Kyle, he can show you, you know what I'm saying? He can show you a couple of reaper trailers, got them double lots and all that shoe shine back there, you know what I'm saying? Security, they can track the trailer from goddamn uh, uh mars and all that good see you need to get you need to get in touch with that man you just go sign up over there man just go just move move on over there because i know how it is when some reefer freight come up missing with them soon tight guys you know i know f12 they're giving you a hard time right now i, I know so just go on go over there this guy daddy g got you covered he got the he got the spaceships he got the spaceships i heard them reefer trailers over there they don't even have wheels they just hover yeah, they just hovering down a damn road. That's what you need, man. Come on, that's my plan. Come on. Okay, okay. We're 
we're done. We're done. All right now, we're loaded. We're loaded. You know what that means? You know what that means? I get to get my YouTube money for the day, man. I get to entertain my people while we get loaded and make that good money. So now it's time to goddamn put the flat top into the wheel and go, uh, hey, proper instructions bring great production. <laughs>